doctor on Booming Thunder Radio. Welcome back, my friends, to the show that will never end until the mighty Father's appointed time has come upon his little children upon the earth. His shining rays of light, a hope of a great nation, Mm, an everlasting Father's love, all beckoning the womb that the sun would come forth in their hearts. Oh, mighty Father, place your hand around their hearts and place each willing vessel filled with water. Let them be transfigured and stand with all the others upon the cleft of the rock. Yea, this is Brother T.C. coming at you live from a place where a man can see for miles and miles and miles. Yeah, you can see a lot and see more Missouri. Yeah, a place the remnant comes and abides, the everlasting upon their hearts and minds. Yeah, birthing everlasting in the crust of the earth that it would not wane and wallow in the mire, that it would be as a, as a mighty sword in a scabbard now and forever, a blood covenant restored. Yea, forgive me, mothers and fathers of everlasting for moving westerly as directed by our everlasting moments together. There were too many who did not understand that there are no more Judeans upon the earth. Yea, the word from a mighty man of the word and honor Yea, a man that would not eat swine upon the earth, who ate with me and supped with me and my Louisiana Cajun queen. We ate some great big old juicy beef ribs that day on the barbecue pit. Sure was good. Man, that Blaylock barbecue, you know, If a man had a store like that, he could sell a ton of it, I bet. So thank you, brothers, craftsmen of the blade upon the earth, treasured souls of a mother's love. Yeah, like none other that has ever been. A band like no other that will ever be. The rock and roll army. Yeah. Rolling up and down the highways and the byways of everlasting. In the hearts and minds of the seen and the unseen. Sunshine in the morning. Yea, mighty friends, I send forth the love of everlasting as a blade in your heart. The living word placed upon the palms of the hands, yea, of the mother's right hand that she may wield the greatest power upon the the whole earth seen by any man. Her mighty hand revealed in righteousness and truth that her cloak would not be hidden a leopard's hand or a bleeding fist ever again. Yea, that her 
Rustic. Yeah. Hurricane. Yeah. Snapped in two. It was just too brittle. That the sweet gum and the cud could be chewed. Yeah, on the big round red stick. Yeah, merciful father. Let temptation not enter our hearts and minds this one day as a thousand years, and as a thousand years is as one day that the scent of the ocean breathes upon the land would not smell of death but of everlasting life upon the earth. So this greatest seen force of all of heaven and all of seen and unseen earth, this is a mother's love for her son when her right hand is full of the word of everlasting that we pour and hover over her son's Yea, we bless her in each vessel that she brings forth. Let it be poured into by the widow's might. Yea, every two cents worth. Yea, bringing ten alongside. So this blade I speak of is the blade she places upon her son. And the craftsmanship of the blade given her would be the great measure laid upon the heart of her son. A mother's love with the sword of glory in her hand. That this everlasting son that she brings forth that yearns for her from her womb Give her, mighty Father, each treasured soul, each gem, each jewel of the bottom of the deep, what her heart and her everlasting yearns from her man, an everlasting moment, a renewing two as one with the blood covenant once more. Yea, the ringing of the ears and the blowing of the leaves in the pomegranate trees by the still waters and the green pasture that the stallion would lay down and the neck, yea, would be laid upon by the little child, yea, in the treasured land and raise the mother up and that the humbleness of the father leaning over them as a tear of the field could be removed and burned in their little hearts and their right hand of covenants with the everlasting father placed upon their fathers and the grandest and the greatest of all the fathers that they would be everlasting fathers, yea, thrusting forth words of everlasting moments in the hearts and minds of all the treasured pearls of the deep, yea, that the sun's coming forth yeah, that the skill and the blades upon their hands let their covenant be renewed and magnified everlasting by the Father's infinite in a sequence of divine only he knows placed in the name upon the rock. Yeah, that's in number five tub full of grace that stands right outside. The living water. Yeah, by Baton Rouge. The 
God of Cain, quivering, the blowing of the wind, fearful of its snapping. Let a cane field that's green and lush in the good ground, it leans, yeah, like wheat in the field. And may the tears of the field be as dried cane. May their earth, yea, be as their withering left hand for the wickedness in their heart. That when their mind becomes reprobate, if they cross over not on this Tuesday, Tuesday will be gone forever for them. And there, everlasting, secured, even unto the 60th year, and everlasting beyond. So this blade in this treasure of the deep's right hand, a Shamir stone, yea, I give her, each of you, in your right hand. And the grandest and greatest of all the everlasting fathers. Yea, I seal your hearts of protection and place the Shamir, two as one in your left hand, never to be seen by mortal men of everlasting. Yea, the blood covenant, the rock. The builders rejected, mercifully slain all the beasts of the field. That in this moment, that the dominion of the beasts of the field, the birds of the air that we feed and water full of grace, yeah, like a big piece of Hebrew pie, galvanized forever. Yea, that the scene in the carnal mind of a holly's wood and the piercing of the righteous man may it be no more. May his rewards rain down from all the earth from heaven above in the clouds that rain everlasting, unseen but treasured gems of the deep, each one of their blessed hands. So this is the way of the right narrow blade that each morning from the love of the mother's heart an everlasting love, her right hand upon her son, her loving kisses upon his heart. <laughs> like my oh, oh, oh. like my little Louisiana caged queen. <laughs> Oh, strengthen us, everlasting Father, for your work, your perfect work, that the womb would bring forth a hovering of Elijah over their sons. Yea, a rock upon their right hand that only they know the name of. Let it always be righteous and true. Yea, let their fathers hovering, let their fathers thrusting, let their fathers covenant of blood, yea, be in the tabernacle of David as they shake their left hand between the poles of everlasting, that only by the veils can we enter around and that the ropes around our necks, that if we should die before our 60th year, that 
we would be dragged out of the Holy of Holies by the rope around our necks through ripping the veil, revealing the goodness and mercy of Proverbs 31. Yea, in Proverbs 1 through 31, upon the hand of her divine love, in honor and truth, if she has grown old in her age, even past her time, that the surety of her blood covenant in her everlasting mind, yea, her fruit, yea, succulent on the tree, yea, the vine, Having covered it, yea, many more vines planted around its sycamore vines. Yea, that the corn and the wine on the sycamore tree would hang. Yea, that the sap would be collected and poured out in mighty Yehovah's treasured moments in time. Teach the way to the children when they are young, and they shall not depart from it when they are old. Yea, wisdom of the mother's love for her son. Ye, Zadika, the mystery that makes the world go round. Let us begin each day a mother's hand upon a heart. Ye, let it be the right hand upon her son and the left hand strengthening the tree that it would never bear false awe. Yeah, may its river always flow, an ebony flow, and never, never a red sea, but a reed sea of everlasting moments revealed in the hearts and minds of treasured souls that the Father of Everlasting Himself reached down in their heaven and wrote the living Torah, yea, the whole of the word everlasting upon the hearts and minds of men, yea, that they can birth the everlasting sons upon the earth, yea, in the hearts and the thrusting of their forceful natures, Yea, the humbleness of the divine deep inside, giving them the pomegranate seed each day as a drop of water. Yea, living water, blessed and given upon the sons and the fathers. Yea, that her work could be done in its completeness. And anything he would drink in those days would not kill him. Yea. If just this one day has a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day with the everlasting Father, let this be the Tuesday of everlasting memories given upon all around the world. And the work, the great work, now begins in the hearts and minds, saving the souls of the feet.
upon mortal men. That the early morning would always bring forth, yea, the cooings of the doves by our window. The nesting and the hatching of each dove's treasured egg, yea, a beckoning of the mother, a brood that no man dare go near. Yea, no beast dare come near a mother's heart when she has her brood. Yea, not even her man can raise a hand upon this land. So today is, what is today? It's Tuesday, I know that. But what is the number? Yea, the number is the seventh. In this upside down world, it's the Tuesday. Yea, on the calendar of time. Yea, let Tuesday never be gone in our hearts and in our minds. Yea, that the elect host of heaven and all the earth could rejoice each day by reading the proverb of the day. So this is the seventh of the eighth month of this upside down backwards world that you would know the mystery birthing in the womb of the earth. Yea, the yellow stone erupting in lava. Yea, Hawaii, that portion out on an ocean. Oh, my brother Brown, may your burning be straight. Yea, and may your pomegranates, yea, hold their seeds of everlasting moments in the tabernacle of David. And ring forth, yea, each time they come, yea, at the breastplate of righteousness, that the everlasting sons, the spiritual fathers of everlasting, the stones, yea, would cry out, the very rock upon the earth that lies still in the still water waiting for each and every everlasting moment sung yea in the hearts and minds of everlasting men with the hope of O oh, glory yea in the sons of glory let their mother read Proverbs 7 each day, a proverb each day, and 7 this day, a number of completeness. That tomorrow's everlasting would be the eighth day. Yea, Proverbs 8. Yea, and let the young, those that toil, and burn not as an age old, yea, sycamore tree of old, yea, even one with its way hidden in the leaves, yea, that the word everlasting today is Proverbs 3, the rewards of wisdom. Oh, our sons, oh, hear a mother's heart from a father's mind. 
Let the heart of the womb of the earth burn with desire. My son, do not forget my teaching, but let your heart keep my commandments. For length of days and years of life and peace they will add to you. Do not let kindness and truth leave you. Bind them around your neck. Yea, write them on the tablets of your heart. So you will find favor and good repute in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord, our everlasting Father, Maria Hova. Yea, in the glory, in the hearts and minds of men, the word living in truth. Yea, trust in the mightiness of the everlasting Father with all your heart and all your mind and everything your soul walks upon the earth with. And do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge the everlasting Father, yea, the treasure, the crown jewel of the earth. He is coming quickly. He comes as a thief in the night, mighty friends. And no man knows the day nor the hour, not the Son, only the Father of everlasting knows these things. And he reveals it unto the Son at his perfect time that no man knows. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. Do not be wise in your own Eyes, fear the everlasting glory of the Father that is coming, yea, like a thief in the night, and turn away from evil. Yea. Evil only conquers when good men sit by and do nothing. And their women are overcome by the curse and the brightness in the midnight hour sky. It will be healing to your body and refreshment to your bones. Honor Maria Hovah from your wealth and from the first of all your produce. So your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will overflow with new wine. My son, do not reject the discipline of the everlasting Father or loathe his reproof. Ye Job. 517, yea, that the little heart can dig like a king and a prince, yea, in the order of the Melek Zadik, a king of righteousness upon the earth, a priest, yea, a hidden hand upon his son, yea. Mother's womb warmed by the gentleness of the knuckles of his left hand from this day forward. Yea, that the young man blade would be like none other upon the earth. Yea, and the ringing in his ears would be from the tinkling of her heart upon his ears. Yea, like a 
ram's horn blown on high. Honor, mighty Yahovah, from your wealth and from the first of all your produce, so your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will overflow with the new wine. Thank you, Father, for giving each of us that great gift of changing water into wine at your perfect moment. Ye, let it be as a thousand years just this one day and one day as a thousand years. So, my son, do not reject the discipline of the everlasting Father or loathe his reproof for whom the mighty one of Israel loves. He reproves even as a father, the son in whom he delights. Revelation 3.19 Don't be lukewarm. Don't be a frigid ocean like Antarctica's chilling mind. Be everlasting. In a mother's heart and mind, let her everlasting moment of your thrusting, giving forth the word in the tabernacle of her mind, yea, with the hope of glory. Yea, being revealed deep inside. That even in her old age, yea, each and every willing vessel would receive the seed of everlasting and the sons of everlasting brought forth by the wisdom and the mysterious hovering over the sons, yea, the valley of dry bones and rises them up that the widow's might would roar. How blessed is the man who finds wisdom and the man who gains understanding for her profit is better than the profit of silver and her gain better than fine gold. She is more precious than jewels, and nothing you desire compares to her, my friend. Yea, place that upon your son's heart. Yea, lovingly upon his mind. Forever a young man in a mother's heart. Long life is in her right hand. In her left hand are riches and honor. Yea, upon her man. Yea, the sweetness of her lily. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, may the scent of the ocean be upon our lips and upon our hearts and upon our minds as we embrace the one as two is one in the tabernacle of David forever like no other now or ever will be again the band that plays like the rock and roll army Father, hallelujah. That the words once spoken, yea, in a land long ago, that all our words 
would be made true. Even in bed, lamb, y'all. Her ways are pleasant ways, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to those who take hold of her, and happy are all who hold her fast. Ye, with great delight, I love her more than I could ever hope or imagine. Ye, like I love truth, giving up my very next breath, going willingly into the everlasting. Ye, giving freely the mantle if you see me go when they come, yea, that the world can now reign in peace and harmony. A wickedness could be birthed no more. She is a tree of life to those who take hold of her. Yea, and caress her with their left hands, that her valley would be raised. Yea, and the beast within would lay down by the still water. Yea, and the tender herb, the leaves that heal the nations. Yea, that the fruit, once the offering has been completely burned and given over, yea, that the nectar of the vine would always be sweet as a Georgia peach in the tabernacle of an anointed son's beloved mind and heart. The mighty Yahovah by wisdom founded the earth. By understanding, he established the heavens. By his knowledge, the deeps were broken up and the skies drip with dew. My son, let them not vanish from your sight. Keep sound wisdom and discretion. Ye yeah, Proverbs Four and twenty-one, the sum of this very day. For those kings and priests that live forever and die from the platform deep, yea, by the very great that draws forth the living water, yea, let your feet not be stuck on the bottom Hell deep in the mud of the mire of the swines of the earth. Let your everlasting, let your bacon always be made of a beast that chews the cud. Yea, and that the cud you now chew, yea, would be revealed in the palms of your hand and in the covering upon your glove. So they will be life to your soul and adornment to your neck. Then you will walk in your way securely and your foot will not stumble. Ye, I wash it now. Ye, and reveal the rock. The builders rejected. Full of grace and mercy. Everlasting. A stillness of the water. Ye, rolling thunder. Ye, calmness. 
homeless that's just outside the door. And the seed of the grain offering, yea, may its gracefulness hand upon the earth be enough for us all, now and forever, as if a thousand days, and a thousand days, yea, as a thousand years, and a thousand years of a thousand days, as just this one day, and everlasting, again and again. Yea, I reckon so. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Do not be afraid of sudden fear, nor of the onslaught of the wicked when it comes. For Maria Hova will be your confidence. Ye, O oh glory, wave. Upon high, and will keep your foot, ye, from the snare of being caught. Do not withhold good from those to whom it is due, when it is in your power to do. Do not say to your neighbor, Go and come back. And tomorrow I will give it when you have it with you. Forgive me, mighty Father. Yea, the darkness of the land. Yea, it's trembling before me. Yea, it's womb thrusting upon me. He hides the hand and nothing else. Let the thrusting of her right hand and the pointing of her fingers and the thrusting forth of both be by an anointed father's hand and heart. Upon the tabernacle of David, shaking the blood covenant of everlasting time, the mystery revealed this day. That the curse of Mariahova is on the house of the wicked. Yea, dare I even say they bleed. Upon the earth, yea, they stand with the scent of filthy rags upon the earth. Their word is carnal and full of death. Their suffering of the piercing of their heart by the wickedness of the land. O oh, Father, let them all receive their counting in your treasured, merciful hand upon their navels. That each one come and be everlasting groovy with us. Ye be everlasting. Not the buzzing of the darkness of the sons of perdition, but on the sweetness of the vine brought forth, yea, in the pollen, yea, of the field. Do not devise harm against your neighbor while he lives securely beside you. Forgive me, brother. 
Yea, I only felt the thrusting of a wanting bride by your side. Yea, in the air that we breathe. Yea, may it never be machine driven. May it be driven only by the hearts. Yea, of the mothers poured into the living sons of everlasting. Those with the finger on the trigger. Those that have the keys upon the ring. Yeah, and not a ring around in their nose anymore. A sow's ear. Yeah, cut off and thrown upon the fire. Do not contend with a man without cause. It has done you no harm. If he has done you no harm. And do not envy a man of violence. And do not choose any of his ways. For the devious are an abomination to the everlasting father, mighty father. Oh. Thank you for this word that strengthens each of us. The curse of Maria Hovah is on the house of the wicked. Yea, Baton Rouge once more. A lovingness of a left hand. When the mountain is brought low and cast into the sea, that the valley may be raised and risen like a left hand holding up a hearty high old silver and away. But the blesses, yeah. What he blesses, but he blesses the dwelling of the righteous. Yea, the sultans of swing. Yea, even those that tap their foot like an insect. Yea, that sits before a chameleon waiting to be devoured. It's work. Finally done. <coughs> Though he scoffs at the scoffers, yet he gives grace to the afflicted. The wise will inherit honor, but fools display dishonor. Listen, mighty ones. Let our mothers birth our hearts with these words of wisdom. Yea, from Mary's heart, as her womb yearns. Yea, that the prisoners inside a mortal man can. Feel the blade of everlasting on their right shoulder and their left as the government has been placed upon it. Yea, each and every one. The tabernacle of David. A blood covenant. Yea, a Mashiach. Yea, how many have been birthed in this moment, hidden, yea, mighty men with locks full of hair, and now the nose around their ring, yea. Like 
sand through the hourglass. These shall be the days of our lives. The wise will inherit honor, but fools display dishonor. Oh, mighty Father, thank you for the living word. Let each able-bodied seaman place his right hand upon the mothers of the earth and pledge his whole heart, his whole mind, to the tabernacle of David, a blood covenant, shaking his left hand off upon his precious ark. Yea, that his thrusting in her mind would birth the tabernacle. Yea, not with columns of stone and brass and iron, mired with clay. Yea, but let the palms and the pomegranates rise in the darkness of the night where the stars are seen in the sky and the sands of time would gather around the still water as each palm and a little baby pomegranate is birthed deep inside. Yea, that the mother's right hand would drip with proverbs from her son's lips, his knowing brought forth by her remembrance of the blood covenant and her delight in her man of everlasting that makes love to her in the tabernacle of David, giving her the sweet nectar of 